Hey guys, what's going on? It's Billy Jones here. So I keep seeing tons and tons of videos on speed and finger strength, finger dexterity, how to go the fastest, how to speed up your hands, how to speed up this, that, that. Um, I think there are a lot of different ways to do this and everyone has an opinion on it, which is fine. Uh, and of course I have my own opinion on it. So what I'm going to do today is we're going to work on this spider exercise which I think uh, was instrumental in, make, in giving me the finger dexterity that I was looking for early on when I was a bass player. Hey guys, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, let me know in the comments what you thought of this. So this exercise is really, uh, it's really, it's really tricky. And, but it really challenges your fingers to work independently of each other. And I think that's what we really want um, from an exercise, right? This will increase your speed, your dexterity, and all of those things that we're looking for. Um, so I also want to say, there's a time and a place for this type of exercise. This is um, a good warm up and or a really good exercise just to build up your overall speed and strength if you're a beginner or even intermediate um, and you're still trying to like master the guitar master chord chord changes master scales trying to do things as quickly and fluently as you want to this is the kind of exercise that will help you if you're a more advanced player you probably shouldn't be doing this exercise. You should be doing a scale. You should be doing scales, scale sequences, arpeggios, things like that. Things that require more uh, musical knowledge because you've already got this mechanical knowledge down. So what we're working on is mechanics, right? We, we need to work on our mechanics so that we can actually play the guitar. So a lot of people, including a really great teacher that I studied with for a long time, they um, say that these exercises are a waste of time. And I, I agree um, for an advanced player. So if you're an advanced player, you probably already know this, so you don't need to do it. But if you're a beginner, I promise you, if you can get this down and add it into your practice routine, this will change your playing dramatically. And so by practice routine, what I mean is, uh, spider exercise, which is coming up in a second. I would say adding this to your practice routine means playing this exercise from the first fret, ascending, then descending, and I would go all the way from the first fret to let's say the seventh fret, okay? And then after a week or so, first fret all the way to the 12th fret. After another week, first fret to the 12th fret and then back. And if you can just do this one exercise every day when you start playing or just as your practice routine, I promise you this is gonna make your fingers fly. So let's check it out. Indiana. Indiana's here. Just give me kisses. Kisses. <laughs> hi baby. Indiana, say hi. Hi. Hello everybody. Hello. Hello YouTube. First I'm going to do down strokes. Now. 
Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, let me know in the comments what you thought of this. And also let me know if there's anything you want me to cover. Thanks for watching. Let's see if I can do this without messing it up. I'm gonna downstroke.